Hey everyone, I'm back. I'm in Arby's in line. I've been in line. I took my order at 4 o'clock. It's 4.09 and I have not moved in line. Everybody got raises, but there's only one person work, working in the kitchen now. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. They're, Nebby's going to pay 10 employees $15 an hour to work in a kitchen. And they're making 15 20 bucks an hour now. I'm going to pull out my crochet. I'm telling you, crochet has been the best thing that's ever come into my life. Because I'm very high strung and it's, it really calms me. And I got some new yarn yesterday. Some stuff from Hobie. And of course I had to try it out. This is, this is what it is. It's a fluffy, fluffy day. So I'm doing a, um, I'm not going to show you the yarn right now because we're going to take a trip to the winds. I'm in Gainesville and I'm in Arby's because I'm starving. It's four o'clock. I haven't eaten all day. That's how incredible busy we are. Got, we've got to find somebody. My husband's like, you can handle it. I'm, I'm down two people. You can handle it. I'm like, yeah, I can handle it, but I don't know for how long. <sighs> so, yeah. But I'm doing the, um, oh, what is that stitch? Wishbone, bone, herringbone stitch. And this stuff, you can't frog it, but it is really soft. It's really soft and fluffy. Yeah. Right now I'm just playing in the car. It's in my to-go bag. My to-go bag. I've got an extra hook. Have you ever had the hook fall down in between the seats? Oh, the line is moving. I'm holding it up. <laughs> no, I'm not really holding it up. Still got two more cars ahead of me, but um, forgot what I was saying. Oh, I've lost hooks in the seat, so I always bring an extra hook. The lines are moving. Better get my money ready. I do want to show you what Hobie sent me. They're stitch markers, and they're shaped like hearts. I've never seen those. They're adorable. Here we go. My turn. Okay. I didn't realize I had you guys crooked. I got my lunch. I got a beef and cheddar from Arby's. And Zeus and Maverick got french fries. You want some? One num num. Maddie. Maverick, come here. Come here. He's laying down. I didn't ask you to speak. Here's Zeus. Alright, there you go. Don't choke. They like to inhale their food and then they like worse than babies. Oh my goodness. This thing is huge. Oh no, you can't have any. Not right now. They got me. Do y'all have paper straws in your community? They're, they, it's Gainesville. They have paper straws. And, you know, they worry about it affecting the wildlife. But what they need to get rid of is those plastic things that beer is attached to and the Cokes are. That thick plastic. I mean... <laughs> Get one. You're drilling on me. Don't drill on me. Get back. Alright, get back. 
Hey everyone, before I call it a night, I wanted to get on here and share my yarn haul with you guys. Tonight's better than it was last night. It was still a crazy day, but it was better than yesterday. I got one package in from Hobie. And yes, I broke into it last night. I did a video. I wasn't happy with the video because I was a little cranky. You could tell I wasn't my normal chipper self. Um, it was a rough day. Our computers, um, there was a cyber attack. And of course, we were in the middle of it. My phones included, because our phones are I don't get my phones through the regular phone company. I have my internet through Windstream, but my IT guy provides my phone service for me. And so when the internet's down, my phones are down. Anyhow, it's a lot cheaper than what the phone company was charging me. And if you knew what I paid for internet out there at the warehouse, you would fall off your chair. It's ridiculous. I had to pay for engineers to go out there and put in to put internet in that they had um, dial up and nothing against dial up, but my area should not have dial up. Okay, I'm High Springs has got internet everywhere, but let's let's get off. I'm gonna get off that rant and get on the rant about what this channel's about, and it's about yarn and my love of yarn. All right. I had did, I, I ordered from Hobie the first time. Well, it wasn't the first time, but not too long ago, I ordered um, a mystery bag from Hobie and I got this white fluffy yarn and I fell in love with it. It's acrylic. It's called Fluffy Day. It's 100% acrylic, but oh, it's like a bunny rabbit. It's so soft. And let me put you down a little bit there. A little bit, a little bit further. I don't know why, but my camera skills are getting worse, not better. <laughs> okay. Anyways, I fell in love with this and I want to make something with it. And so I bought some other colors. Um, I could just sit here and squish this all night. Isn't that funny? Anyways, I ordered, I ordered some pink and it's not called pink. It's a number. It's a number four. It calls, it's a hundred grams. It calls for 4.5 millimeter crochet hooks and four, four, four to five millimeter crochet hooks and four to five millimeter knitting needles. Blah, can't talk, but. This, this isn't quite as soft as the white, but it is soft. And yes, it's fluffy. And I would say it's a number, probably a number two, but with the fluff, they're calling it a number four. And um, yes, I put some on the hook, but let me, let me see. I got four of each color. So I got four pink and Wait, that's not pink. <laughs> oh, where are you? I know I got four of everything. Here it is. So it's, it's more like a mauve, but I thought it would go well with the white if I was to maybe make a top, kind of have like a sweater in mind if I ever get to it. Um, and then I also got gray. I thought that would look very pretty together. And I got four of the gray too. Oh, wait. Sorry. I know how to do this better than what I'm doing it. It's gray. And let me, let me give you the numbers. Okay. The white, the number of the white is lot. Let's see. Come on, Nancy, focus. 
Guess what? That's big twist. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> okay, color one. And it's called, again, it's from Hobie. It's called Fluffy Day. And it is heavenly soft. Okay. White is number one. And the moth looking is number 12. Look at that halo. I wonder if it's... Yeah, it does come off a little bit. Bummer! Yeah. So it's going to definitely pill, right? I don't know, but I can't. I know it probably won't be easy to frog, but it's so soft. So I got four of those, and then I got the gray. And the gray is number, number three. Yeah. Fluffy. And again, let's put these three colors together. And did I tell you how much yardage? I'm getting really terrible at this. It's called sleep deprivation, sleep deprived. Uh, how many mil? I'm trying to see how many yards. If it's here, I'm not seeing it. Oh, here it is. 311 yards so I got four times three so that's 1200 at least 1200 yards per color so but yeah very pretty and I could make a top I could make anything with it right and I didn't just get those colors I got some blue and it is a number seven but isn't that pretty? And I thought even this would go if I decided I didn't want to do pink. So, yeah. So I got four of the blue in this bag. So here's some more of the white. Okay. Here's the blue. I got four of them. Again, it's called Fluffy Day. Three, three, so that's four skeins is 1,200 yards. And then, okay, here's another white one. I got five white ones. Okay, and here's the other gray one. The gray isn't as soft as the rest of them, I've noticed. And I was working up the gray. Hang on, let me show you how it worked up. Okay, this is the herringbone stitch, and I just wanted to see what kind of definition it would show, and I think it's showing quite a bit of definition. The lighting in here isn't the greatest. But, yeah, it's really, I mean, I like working with it. Very smooth on the hook, but you can't frog it. I mean, I have frogged it um, a couple times on the ends. <laughs> I struggle with the ends. I have to put, if I don't put a stitch marker, I'm in trouble. So, and you see, I don't have a stitch marker. But, um, and then the other yarn that I got in this haul, I got a couple other kinds. I got... Nordley's Superwash Wool. I don't know if anybody's ever used that. And it's the number six. And it is, let's see, 100 grams, 385 yards. Um, it says use a two and a half millimeter to a US two. Um, do not use fabric softener. It's got a washing machine, 40. So I'm not sure. I would never put it in the washing machine. And I'm not too sure how to read these. But yeah, it feels like um, 
super super wash wool and it's got 75% super wash wool and 25% nylon in it so it's I could wear it on my skin it's not the soft the softest yarn but it's got wool in it and um, I got two of each color but with all that yardage so six almost 800 yards of color so I got two like a cream color and of course don't ask me why I only have every other type of yarn in gray, <laughs> gray. <laughs> but yeah the specs are the same so I got two gray and it it actually feels a little bit softer than the white yeah it feels softer and can you guess what the next color is i bet you can't black <laughs> i surprised you didn't i i never buy black don't ask me why i bought black i think i know why i bought black but this is number 903 and yeah i don't know the gray and the black feel better than the white isn't that weird but i think i bought it to go with this I don't know. I bought two of these. Isn't that pretty? And it also, it's all Nordley's yarn. It's all the same yarn. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. But I bought, I think I bought these thinner yarns to go with some of the ice yarns I bought. Um, they were fluffy yarn and uh, real thin yarn. Something to to um, give it some substance to crochet with. I think that's why I ordered this so long ago, I don't remember. What I need to start doing is writing down why I ordered yarn, mostly to show you guys. <laughs> but you know, there's always a project in mind when you order it and I always forget. But I did only get the blue like this, but I got another color I thought was extremely beautiful. Isn't that pretty? I fell in love with it. Oh, and it smells like, it smells like wood. Wool. It smells like the outdoors is what I call it. So, yep. And I had this big twist. It kind of reminds me of this, but I'm telling you, Look at this. They're the same yarn. This is 100% premium ac acrylic, and this is 100% acrylic. This is a number four. This is a number four. This says to use a 5.5 millimeter hook. Yep. And it's 311 yards. It's identical. Wait, no, this was 311 yards. Hold on. Right? No, this is 311 yards. This is identical as the big twist. It's the same yarn. You see that flashing? Ooh, that's the camera. It's not my lighting. Isn't that cool? Um, interesting. I would say that this one's spun, spun a little bit looser than that. I don't know. Here. kind of roving you know what I mean it's thin and then it gets fluffier on different parts but I would say this is identical crazy I never even realized that this is big twist spice so it's just like Hobie's fluffy day yarn interesting learn something today and yes I like these colors they're beautiful and that's it for 
the yarn haul, but I got something to share with you guys. I could not resist getting this. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I got to share it with you guys. Hang on. Okay, this is hilarious. Oh, you guys, this is funny. Here we go. Did not resist it. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see if we can see her twerking. <sighs> it's called Saru Pet Alive. I shake my booty and dance to three new epic songs. I shake my head and spin. <sighs> Bonnie the booty shaking llama. I think it's adorable. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I had to share that with you. And I just had an avalanche. <laughs> well, that's about it for this evening. Um, yeah. I, um... I have one pumpkin here almost done. Just got it. I ran out of stuffing. So I got to buy stuffing. But I also had a really neat idea to do something different with the pumpkins. And I'm going to try to get them all crocheted up tonight. And hopefully together in the next day or so. Because um, I want to show you something. I, th I had a neat idea. It may not, it's not my idea. I've seen it somewhere else. But, anyways. I will share that with you in the next couple days. All right. Good night, you guys. Thank you for visiting, coming by, watching my channel, subscribing. Um, I want to welcome all my new subscribers and welcome back all my returning subscribers. And you guys know I love you very much. And I hope this week has been fun. I tried to get on here a little more than I usually do and uh, kind of not didn't share a lot of yarn with you guys but i am the yarn queen well i'm not the queen bag of days the queen i i'm i'm ta i'm tailing on her shirt her on her toes you know <laughs> i want to be there right anyways you guys know i love yarn i love you guys and i will see you soon bye